here with you and today we're making some Christmas cards I have sorry I'm adjusting a bit I have to make some Christmas cards because I usually sell uh, some a bunch about 10 um, and in French so I have to make them and I'm, I'm being um, better this year at prepping them ahead of time which I haven't been doing before so I'm very proud of myself uh, before we get into the card making, I just wanted to share with you guys two items that are now in my Etsy store and that um, I have uh, just listed basically. So I've been making some gifts this weekend and I thought it would be fun to uh, to make some... I, I came across some envelopes that I had already painted so I prepped the... the um, I prepped the item and now I've got these to sell. So this one is a set, is a little folder with a set of five cards. So you open it up and there's five cards as well as a little set of flowers, of my flowers and stitch. So there's some uh, I put upside down just so that they were, uh, like the envelopes wasn't all in the same, the same direction so that it fits better. So that's the, that's this here. So you can find this in my Etsy store if you're interested. I thought it would be make a nice gift, and then you could use uh, whoever um, purchases this can actually use this as a little journal after, a little journal cover. And this one here is a bit different. It's what I did inside here is I put a little post-it pad with a little pen. So. You could put this in your purse if you wanted to, or you could put this by the phone, wherever. Um, I just thought it was a fun way of doing something a bit different and that uh, it would make a nice gift as well. So those, like I said, can be find, found in my Etsy store now. Okay, so let's get into card making because I know that's what you're here for. Um, I was busy all weekend but making some watercolor which is something different than what I've been doing I shared some um, on my patreon some lens view as well as on Instagram some of the pictures I did so I did these images I've been watching Ellen creamy Trent um, on YouTube and she's really amazing and so following her tutorials I tried my hand at making some cards some uh, watercolor and so we're going to be using today I'm going to be making uh, five cards and then I'll make another video right after this for five other cards um, oh boy, it wasn't completely dry this one. Um, and I'll do five other cards and that will be shown next week. Um, just because already ten, uh, five cards is a long process. So if I do ten, it's going to be way too much. So I've got the five here. And we'll do the um, scenery and the next in the next video but I'll still cut them out since I've got the cutting machine and uh, it's going to be easier that way so here we go and uh, sorry about my phone ringing alright so Here's the other ones, and these, like I said, I'll use in the next video. Okay, so now I've got five card base. Because these are for uh, selling, I like to use the big cards. So I use six by six. So I take a piece of 12 by 12 paper, I cut it in two and fold it. And this becomes my card base and I purchased the envelopes on Amazon 
Uh, I used to purchase them from um, um, Envelopes or Us, I think. Uh, but the shipping was way too much and on Amazon it was cheaper so that's why I got it from there if you're from the US uh, it might be uh, really inexpensive for you to uh, purchase directly from that company so I've got all kinds of different papers paper packs uh, all kinds of 6x6 paper packs that I've had in my stash forever and I just figured we could have fun with it I'm, I'm thinking that this could be really cute on there, on this one, actually, so let's pull this one out, and let's make this one as the first one. So I've got some uh, cardstock as well, which could be nice, but I think actually I would prefer probably the brighter red. So. I'm wondering if I leave a bit, I think I'm going to leave a bit of the white and not cover the entire base. So I'm going to do that. And I'm sorry guys if it's, if you don't like seeing me cut and assemble cards, um, I, I get that. I get you know comments about people saying that it's it's repetitive and it's long um, but I also know that there's a lot of people out there that do appreciate seeing that so um, but if you don't then you can always skip forward or fast um, change the speed of the video so that it's actually faster and then you don't have to watch me um, cut paper I usually end up chatting away while I'm doing that. So I've been I've been really busy uh, making gifts and stuff, and it's it's really really fun. I'm really excited this year that I'm actually doing that. Cause you, like I said, usually I end up running around like a mad woman, and I don't um, have much time. I always end up choosing stuff to do last minute and then I, I totally regret it because I run out, out of time and by the time Christmas comes I want to cry because <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that or if there's others like me out there that end up taking too much and just end up regretting afterwards that you spent so much time. Okay, it's actually watercolor, so. Uh, I just realized too that I didn't sign these. Just gonna put my initials. feels weird to use stuff that I made myself, but I think it's kind of nice. I'm hoping that it's going to be liked. Got, I pulled out Rick Rack because I thought that might be fun. I could put this like this. And then I've got my little um, Sizex machine beside me because that my, my sentiments are smaller. So I've got some of my favorite dies that I use all the time. And I could use a Joyeux Noël and then do that for this. So let's, let's pull the, this little thing out. And hopefully I won't make a mess. It's happened many, many times that I do. Okay, so put this on there. So I like this little machine because it's very, it's very tiny when you're crafting and, and you're just doing little things like this. You don't need to have a big 
machine that takes like so much space on your desk. So. Oh boy. All right. Now, I would have usually tried to use the middle of this to, to do um, the background. However, it won't fit in there. So, let's use up this piece here. I need to cut it down just a tad. Fit in. And I'm going to use a scallop circle. I like layers. If you watch my channel at all, you know I love layering. I just find that it gives an added little something. And of course, okay, so we got the little. A little scallop, this little piece of red aside, lift this up, close my guillotine before I hurt myself. Okay, so we bring back the card and I said when I make these, I try to, because I'm selling them, I'm really trying to uh, make them extra special. Not that the ones I make to give away are not, but I just like to have it even a little bit more. And I think I'm going to use some of this tape here so that I lift it from the ribbon. I think it's going to be easier for me. Okay, so let's assemble this. And I didn't put my timer because, like I said, I, I need to do the 10 cards. So I'm going to do a series of five and then I'll close down the video and do my other series of five. So you'll see both of these, um, one this week and one next week. And because this week it's, it's fun little characters, and next week it's going to be scenery, so it's, it's different, it's not the same, uh, same thing. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Fabrifix because uh, it's going to be easier to make sure that it sticks. Now I want to make sure that I don't put it all over my desk. So I put some here and put it here, and then put some a bit. It doesn't have to be held super securely, but just enough so that it doesn't move around. I guess I don't want it to. I don't want to put too much glue, but just enough to keep it down. I could have put double-sided tape, that would have worked as well. Maybe I'll do that next time. It's not as messy as doing this. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. So put this little guy, whoops, like that. this and then I'll use this tape on top and put it like this And I think it's it's super simple, but at the same time, um, I really think it's sweet. 
So I'm hoping that you guys think so too. Okay, so where do I put this so that I don't damage it? Okay, I'm gonna put it aside over here. Okay, so then for the next one, I think I'm gonna go continue going through my papers and choosing from there. Um, I. more blues like this I might like this one this little guy on top of that or maybe with a combination of those two And then maybe I could use another one for the polar bear. This one will be for the polar bear, which I think is cute. And I can use the rest of this page, which is cool. I like reuse it. I like using my stuff in, in different options. Now I need to find some blue and I thought I had pulled out some but I guess I didn't it's okay because it's right next to me so it's not like I have to go too far I think this was given gifted to me by um, Marty but I'm not sure anymore I think it's either this one where is that one? I think I prefer that. So I will go with this. And this time, do I cover the entire thing? I think I might cover the entire thing instead. So I'll put it this way okay. so put that way and then it would be fun to use it this way instead of the typical that way and I think I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna do this like that I love working with 6x6 six six papers, especially when I work with 6x6 six six, uh, cards. It is more expensive to mail out, um, but when I'm making cards, uh, like I said, for other people, I try to uh, make them bigger. And also for my family's own use, I prefer having a bigger one um, because we usually write and write sentiments uh, and if the entire family is writing something then I need to have a lot of space um, for everybody to be able to write so I don't like having just a tiny tiny bit I prefer having a bigger space to write so I think I'm gonna put that and then 
close this sheet. And I could go all the way down. Let's say I do that and I go all the way down. Okay, so like this. And then I could put my little bear like that. And then I have here some embellishments, some wooden embellishments, and I think these would be very pretty. Okay, this one's broken. That's kind of sad. I think these would be pretty. So I could put two there and then put my sentiment here. And for the sentiment, I wonder, because I have a whole big bin of scraps of um, cardstock that's actually um, one color. And I'm thinking that this might be nice to use some other cardstock and not waste a big piece through this. Okay, so cut this down and okay so how do we do this I have this is gonna be too big for this not gonna fit. Something with that. It's too bad because it would have been nice. How about one of these? Maybe something like that one. Can I make it fit? Yes, barely, but I can. So that's what we're going to use. And then I can actually use some bling. Whoops, just better make sure that it doesn't move. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up with issues. That's where I like having my metallic uh, plate. I could put washi, but I just don't want to be bother bothered in taping this down and having to remove it and whatever. So let's just hope for the best. And we did good. Okay, so here we go. So that's that. These are Gourmet grow grow tags from Nestabilities. Uh, um, I don't know if they still make them. I've had this for like a very, very long time. Okay, so now obviously I didn't plan on using brads, but I've got them close by. So let's pull out a drawer of brads and see if I can find some. That would be nice on this. I don't want them big. I need two that would be the same. Oh, there's a pale blue here. That might be very pretty. Now the bad thing though with using a pale blue versus... I think I'm going to use the white. Even though the pale blue would have been really pretty. Unless I put... Yeah, I'm going to try to use bling that's um, silver instead. Oops. Making everything fall. Typical. Typical. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna put these and what I'll do and I'll put them just so that they're just one way um, and this way I don't have to pierce the paper so that's going to be easier and just need to make sure that they're down and I think I have silver I had silver bling Here we go. So I can use those silver bling on top of the little snowflakes and I think that would be nice. And let's find a sentiment that we can cut and fit on this. Not sure if this one would fit. Actually, would so let's use that one. This one was from Create with TLC. Um, she had she had I don't know if she still has those, but she used to have um, monthly clubs, and during the monthly clubs, she would do uh, a bunch of different sentiments and there was a Christmas club and those were part of her Christmas club release so okay. and I'm trying to keep the cards different I like them to look all the same and have the same design on them. Um, I used to do a lot of design challenges of, uh, where they had sketches and layouts. I did mine at the beginning of the year on my blog. There's a few uh, inspiration there if you want. But uh, I stopped doing it because it was just, it was taking a long time and um, I was running out of time. Okay, so put one there. Like so. And then Supon tape. And I'm hoping I'm in frame. Keep you guys close enough so that you can see better. Sometimes it's hard I get off frame and I don't realize it. So I'm sorry if I'm not in frame all the time. Okay, so put this here. here and then I'll put this on top of this and my bread just went just left its little space okay so so then for this what I'll do is I'll put squat tape on top so it won't move easier for me so just a little trick because I mean I don't want to have to um, make holes in my paper and the whole thing I could have but didn't want to obviously I can't open up the thing both ways because then uh, one end would have been sticking out this way it works and just put 
so tape. Um, just add this over here and add a little bling to both. Oops. Okay, and the little one to the little one. If it will stick. And here is my next card. Two down, three to go. So for the next one, we're doing the same, the same paper. Um, but maybe we can do it different and use the same paper, but then use this in the center with the other paper. Where's my other paper? Where's my other paper? There it is. So maybe we could do that and put my little bear on top. So let's cut him down a bit. For this I didn't do all watercolor. I actually did the scarf with coloring pencils. I just decided to have fun. And the little black lines are from uh, Copic liners. Okay, so this here, I'm gonna cut it down to here. And let's start by gluing this piece down. Sometimes it just makes it easier to see when everything is sticking down and not floating about. So for this I think I want it about here. If I do that, how big is my little bear? Yes, I'll be okay. So this needs to be like somewhere about here. And cut this down to here. Not. So now I can do this. And I can do that. And I can put my little pillow there. It's just so adorable. And then I could put a few snowflakes and put a little sentiment right there. And I'm going to put the sentiment right over here. And I think I think I'm gonna do it fairly easy. And just use some of this blue. it even easier for myself. I'll actually glue it down and then chop it so that I can chop it the exact length I want. And here we go. And 
and that will be that. And I can put blue bling in the inside, on the inside. And I'm just finding ways of using my stash, that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't like wasting, so, and I don't like putting back a lot of cardstock after a session of card making. So by doing it this way, I don't have all that much waste. And it makes it easier. And here we go. And I'll put this in the middle. Right over here. And then soup on tape. This is a false a a full soup on tape. I don't like it. I'm not gonna buy it again. Um, I had gotten it at Tape Jungle, I believe. I like their tape for um, the tape runners, but I don't like it for for this. The actual Sukhan tape, I find, is much better. But that's my own personal opinion. Um, everybody's got their own. And I've lost my images. I don't know what I did with them. What should I do with my my other images? I'm missing the two. Am I missing the two penguins? Or I'm missing a snow a snowman and a penguin? And then last one. And here we go. Um, and I've got blue bling that I saw. <laughs> right over here so I can use this inside these I think it's gonna be perfect whoops could put more bling if you wanted to but I'm gonna keep it simple and here we go now I've lost oh there they are it's like I lost two images so I'm missing a penguin and I'm missing a snowman And uh, I have some black paper, which might be fun for the penguin. Could make it very dramatic. Actually, I'll pull out a sheet. It's going to be easier and faster than trying to find it through the rest of my stash. And I have one that's bent. I don't know what happened to it, but it got bent in the corner, so might as well use that one. And sorry. Okay, so now I need to 
pull out my big one because obviously the small one won't do for this. underneath so you can put the rest from what I have. I don't know if I'm going to be using other pieces or not and I just banged into something and everything is about to fall. And I wanted this because I wanted that piece of black I need the smaller piece. Okay, so for this, because it's going to be underneath, it won't matter that there's a bent in it, you're not going to see it. And then I'm going to put this here. This down. And I had some silver snowflakes that might have been pretty on here. And I could layer this little piece of black underneath and do a bit similar to what I did on the other card, but without adding extra paper. Where is it? Where's my mark? There it is. I'm wondering. So I had I'm wondering where my big snowflakes are. desk with a bunch of different Christmas embellishments and things I've used in other projects. Let's put these here. This way it's easier to use. Um, the blue ones. would be perfect. And that's going to finish that sheet. Yes! Score. Love when I'm able to use what I have and get it used up so that it doesn't take any room in my stash anymore. So I don't know about you, but it, the stash just keeps on growing. So it's kind of nice when you can use some pieces 
and it's done. Okay, so let's put this down. And this card is going to be very dramatic, like I said, with the black. big to fit in perfectly and here we go that's better so this set I put over here and I'm going to put the snowflakes And I don't want to put them right over here because I want to put some bling. So, here. Put some bling over here. And I have some bling. thing as soon as I pull out something I see it but then when I look for it I can't find it okay so here we go so four no five two three four five one two three four five so very simple um, but I hope that you've enjoyed seeing that one and we've got one last one to do and uh, it's gonna be this little snowman and uh, for him what do we do Got this little piece left. Okay, let's cut this down first. This little guy over here, this over here, and 
Thing like that. Did I have any of the blue left? I did. So I cooked this right in my head on here. And this over here. With the darker blue on top. So I'll try that. Let's see. Because then I get to use up those tiny little pieces. this and try not to cut my hand in the process. Okay, so what about this here? By cutting it down a bit, I think it's going to look better. And like I said, I'm going to put the dark blue bling on top of it. And I could put just the Joyeux Noël. I could use this one on top of that. Side a bit. Where did I put my little thing now? Just had it two seconds ago. Where did it go? I'm finding other, all kinds of other colors, but I'm not finding the blue one I just had. This is weird. Did you put it off? No. Where did you put it? Ah, there it is. So, I could put Joy Unite and then put two little bling here and two little bling here, and I think that will be it. Well, and of course, wouldn't you know it, my tape runner runs out of tape. Okay, I will use the Sukwon tape for finishing off this card because I don't want to make you guys wait until I change the roll and we're almost done so I can do that in between the two videos and call it done after so here Over 
I need to sign my little drawings. I forget. I forgot all of them except for one. Kind of nice to, for people to know that I actually did these myself. And there we go. Put that on top here. I'm going to put my two little snowflakes in here. And one over here. And I have my little bling. All of these. And here we go. And that's the loss of the cards. So I think I really like how they turned out. They're different. None of them is exactly the same. I think it's uh, it's fun. So I'm hoping you've enjoyed. Uh, leave me comments down below. Go and check out the gifts. Like I said, I'm putting in my Etsy store and uh, i still have uh, two journals so that's it uh, love you guys bye